For what purpose does the gentlelady from Michigan seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, this week marks 49 years since the landmark Supreme Court decision of Roe versus Wade. 49 years since the choice won over life in the eyes of the American people. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle applaud for Roe versus Wade and have no problem with the more than 62 million innocent babies that have been aborted since 1973. I, however, find these numbers to be sickening. These children are just as worthy of life as a fully grown adult is. They are created in the image of God, just as you and I are. Their lives should not be carelessly and despicably destroyed. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle preach and parade human rights, but where is the outrage for the human rights of the unborn? It's frightening, non-existent, that their lack of, in, of consistency makes it very clear what their priorities are. How can you claim to care for one life when you don't care for all lives, no matter how small? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.